Welcome to another session with Guardian Investment Advisors. My name is Gary Thurman. Thank you for being here. Tim, I want to talk about something that's probably, I mean, it's been a hot topic, but it's probably got, it's got to be the hottest topic in the United States of America right now. What do you think I want to talk about? Elections. Election. <laughs> Ooh, we got a big one coming up. Uh, I, I think we have an interesting election coming up, you know, with, with so many things going on out there uh, in, in, the, in the parties. But l- let me just ask you a general question. You know, what do you think people are most fearful of when it comes to their money? So I think, I mean, in general, I guess it's more of the uncertainty than anything, right? Right. Um, it's it's the uncertainty of where taxes are going to be. It's uncertainty of new policies. It's the uncertainty of what's going to happen next in Congress. All of that can have a, an effect on the economics and the financials. Yeah. And, and, and let's talk about the historical, you know, if we, if we go back years and years and years and look at election years in the past, uh, you and I have talked about this a lot and I don't want to spoil it for our listeners, but <laughs> You know, what can we typically expect during an election year when it comes to our money in the market? Yeah, I I think um, so. I I go back and I do a lot of studies. I like uh, patterns. I think patterns repeat themselves over and over again. And there's um, a lot of statistics on election years and the uh, few months leading up to Election Day always have some volatility in them. I shouldn't say always, but more times than not have a lot of volatility in them. Um, And that's because of the uncertainty. We're not quite sure what to expect uh, with the uh, next presidential candidate. And so you'll see some volatility related to that. After elections happen, there's some more certainty in place. People feel a little more confident in what's going to happen. Um, And truth be told, it doesn't matter which party takes place. Markets more times than not will will start going up for November and December in an election year. That's correct. I, I think the main thing here I want to get across to our viewers out there is if you have a proper plan in place, you don't have to worry about this Absolutely. stuff. Don't Absolutely. you agree? I, I totally agree. Um, uh, and the, the plans that we use use the bucket strategy right. of the red, yellow, green money. Uh, and the buckets are allowing us to have that strategy in place where economics and uh, financials and and all this different uh, changes in law should have less of an impact and less worry that you have to have at the end of the day because of that. Yeah. If you're out there, I mean, 2024 election is cut right around the corner, folks. And if, if you're worried about the election, you're worried about your portfolio, you know what? Come in and have a conversation with us. It's not going to cost you a penny to get a second opinion to make sure your portfolio is set up and ready for this next election that's coming up. If you are interested, click that link below or give us a call today.